telling a lie raises your blood pressure and heart rate hippocratic oath says you should not even have a board longer than one and a half feet and one feet long today my god photograph of a doctor the best cardiac surgeon in the world that is not good lot of people come to me with ulcers in the mouth i tell them abscess ulcers simply disappear you will be surprised help as many people as you can each time you help somebody that fellow will not be grateful to you forget it he'll be ungrateful to you but you are benefiting yourself because your body is built in such a way that paropakarartham idam shariram you are here for others and so try to do good to everybody but the minute you do some good to somebody follow jesus let not the right hand know what the left hand does forget and if you forget you're happy if you don't forget and if you say okay i help bm agde and when bm agde harms you you feel terribly bad and there was a ashutosh mukherjee was a great teacher in bengal he was told one day by you know he was an old man somebody said see so and so was bad mouthing you so badly then he smiled here i am telling you the truth why are you smiling he smiled and said no no i am only thinking when did i help him because without if you don't help somebody they won't bad mouth you so you forget but help you must you must go out of your way to help sometime because it helps you because he is you remember that we you and i are just leptococcus he is a leptococcus and the same leptococcus exchanges between you and him and your same consciousness and same mind and his mind and your mind are connected so if you help someone else or someone else helps you he or she gets the benefit out of it and that's the next thing that you do ayurveda is so good nitya hita mita ahara sevi in moderation what you like a lot of people say you'll sit down there and say does it have cholesterol does it have this that that itself will give you blood pressure whether it is cholesterol or poison you eat it finished and this eating that we have been doing our ancestors have been doing has come by what's called observational research why did people eat some poisonous fruit they have seen over thousands of years that eating that fruit will kill you and how did we choose who told you to eat rice who told you to eat wheat like for example who why why do you eat potato and sweet potato solanaceae plants are there in the wild for 500 varieties but the only two varieties you eat the rest of them are all poisonous so we are so lucky there's so much research in the past today's research is what measuring things do you know what is called the western research called fish net hypothesis how many of you know what is fish net hypothesis arile john von neumann is a great uh, you know hungarian born american chemist who got the nobel prize for chemistry he said fish net hypothesis ichthyologists ichthyologists you know fish fishes fishes these fishes went to the for the sea to study fish so they caught fish came back to the laboratory used a vernier caliper measured everything up and down and said one conclusion what's the hypothesis all sea fish are bigger than 2 inches in length that became a proposal it became hypothesis then became thesis and then became a theory that's how science is you know what is thesis i asked a lot of these phd students in the exam why you say sir what is thesis thesis sir is, is writing about sir this is a dissertation sir it's, it's uh, this sir. but what is the meaning of the word thesis thesis sir thesis thesis <laughs> this is how we study in our schools just mug up do you know what thesis is thesis is a table in the king's court in the olden days so if you have a theory or if you have a proposal if the king accepts it you can keep it on the table that's called thesis today there's phd and if it can't be kept there and the king rejects it you keep it under it's called hypothesis mole de chirikane satyam parayi chirikwa that's the truth but how many phd students know the etymological meaning of the word thesis that's the problem anyway come back then what happened after some time another group of ichthyologists went to the far, the sea and they caught fish their fish had a smaller net hole so even 1 inch fish were caught so their hypothesis said 1 inch also can be sea fish so another thesis so 
द प्रेजेंट साइंस ऑफ द वेस्ट ओनली फाइव सेंसेस and these five senses measure whatever they measure at the given time and that's called the final word which is not and if you go with the smaller net to the sea you can get half an inch fish also it's called fish net hypothesis please go and read that fish net hypothesis read a little more and then you get what what all things happen in this world you just don't know this world is not what you see remember that so the man who got the nobel prize and the alternate nobel prize and wrote about what is called the real a duality says this world is wirklich kit wirklich kit in german means drama and he says it is maya shankara's maya so beautiful and that's the world is what not what you see it is something else but you are made to believe in something else which is called advertisement you know what is advertisement you don't know 1954 John Kenneth Galbraith who was a, the American ambassador in India in the 50s when before you were born this fellow was 7 feet 2 so when pandit nehru and he were walking pandit nehru had to look like that to look at him pandit nehru himself was tall but this fellow was 7.2 this fellow was a professor of economics in harvard he wrote a book in 1954 called affluent society where he says advertisement is not to tell the truth about the product to the community it is about make them entice them to buy that product when they don't even need it for example you go to a mall m a l l two shirts for one shirt's price the wife becomes greedy she says you better buy the two shirts now because you know you won't get it later this fellow doesn't need shirts he has enough shirts at home but she says no no see it's cheaper now buy it so the shirt is sold and what that mall has done for two shirts price their one shirt prices well, has has become so they have not lost anything but you are, you become an ass that you bought the shirts when you don't need them this is called advertisement same thing about me- medicine now in the olden days when we were all students we took an oath hippocratic oath and become hypocrites after that but then hippocratic oath says you should not even have a board longer than 1 and 1/2 feet and 1 feet long you should not advertise yourself today my god photograph of a doctor the best cardiac surgeon in the world is standing here in x y z for corporate hospital finished that is not good because pe- people should not go by that to get a cardiac surgery done and when you go to meet your maker then you can't discuss and say oh i did a mistake i went to the wrong place because of advertisement right so that is what is nitya hita mita ahara sevi samikshakari work very hard you must have seen our ancestors oh my god i had a grandfather who who lived up to 102 his fellow used to work even when he was 100 he used to go out and he has to go to the court every day with a lot of lands and everything one day you know when he was about 100 his children said you can't now go to the court so they restricted him from going to the court and the day he was restricted he was feeling bad and he felt bad and felt bad died within a, within a year otherwise he would have lived long probably he would have lived for another 10 years he wanted to do what he wanted to do we didn't allow him to do that samikshakari then what does it say data data be a giver not a taker we are all takers i'm looking for what will the now the a i a d k give me what will they give me and things no be a giver give something to others data samaha you know you must look after everybody same way lot of us have this bad habit if when you talk to the big president hello sir jitend sir supposing the peon is a hey come here no no you know when i was a dean lot of these you know medical college in the dental college and all love affairs are very common so when she loves a boy and then after some time she'll come to me and say sir please give me some advice sir i am i want to marry jitend sir and my friends how do you think he's a good boy or not so i tell them look i can give you ideas about jitend between 9 am and 5 pm between 5 pm and 9 am what he does i would know <laughs> so don't ask me take jitend for a evening date take him to a restaurant and observe how he behaves with human beings when he goes there the restaurant chief comes there he says hello sir how are you today how are you doing hello sir and then he goes near the table where you both sit and there's little dirt there and he calls that hey come here clean this don't marry him 
he is not an honest man he treats different people differently and that is for not good for health samaha samaha then satyapara see you imagine for a minute telling a lie is very stressful supposing i have to tell a lie i must remember that every day because next time somebody asks the same lie must come no so that is a terrible stress telling a lie raises your blood pressure your heart rate tell the truth it is the same truth anyway you know wherever you are what is there in it you must must be an open book you shouldn't have any two things you know inside one outside one same thing fine tell the truth satyapara kshamavan you can do all these things but others can come and slap you on the face forgive him poor man he doesn't know he knows not what he knows not so forgive him shun him don't forgive him forgiveness i tell you is the greatest stress buster and forgiveness lot of people come to me with ulcers in the mouth you know after ulcers they have taken b complex after b complex after b complex then even the dental surgeons give them steroid ointments etc etc i tell them forgive make a list of people you hate forgive them after ulcers they simply disappear simply disappear you just see that you will be surprised i tell them don't even tell your husband or wife close your room and make a list of people you hate simply make a list of people you hate and then make an effort sit and meditate and say i forgive b m mcday after all he's an ass let him go to hell just see you relax after cells has gone blood pressure gone migraine gone autoimmune disease gone kshamavan then what does it say aptop sevi bhavet arogyam don't treat just your husband and wife as yours everybody is mine everybody is mine is my uncle my aunt my niece my nephew my grandfather whatever it is you just treat everyone as your equal and your blood pressure will come down your cancer will disappear did you know that your cancer will disappear 